It's Auto In with your hosts, Seth Kelly, Will Moulton, and Garrett Walder, with special guest, Will Diamant. In this episode, what are the different applications of audio production? What audio equipment and software do we recommend for people just starting out? And who murdered Will Moulton's wife in cold blood? Without further ado, Auto In. Welcome, everybody, to Auto In Season 2, Episode 7. This is the season finale, everybody. My name is Seth Kelly, and here with us we have the man, the myth, the legend, Garrett Walder. Let's go, boy. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. I, <laughs> I don't know. We I didn't, didn't check audio before. That. We didn't check peaks before. Oh, I was. Oh, you were? Yeah, I was oh, okay, doing good. it secretly. But uh, I don't think it showed peaking on the board, so I'm... Maybe editing Compress me will that be bad boy up real good. Indeed, yeah. Uh, who's that other voice we got going on? I don't, I don't know. Uh, Who, who's that? It, uh, it's me, Will Molten. Will Molten. Yep. Will Molten. Crazy! Wow. Crazy. You kind of sound like mean. a lot like the person who was on the finale <laughs> last season. Will also Diamond. the guy who just did the intro. Oh uh, uh, yeah, that guy uh, who's actually been in like oh, every God, single episode uh, since hmm. day one. Mm, they're on to me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel. <huh. laughs> Today, uh, we're going to be talking about audio software and hardware and things like that. But uh, b- before we get to it, let me just lay out the episode so that you know, like, kind of what's coming, right? We're going to start talking about audio, like, w- what what kind of hardware do we use? What kind of software do, you, do we use? What is the role of audio in broadcast and things like that? And then uh, in the third segment, just to... Uh, Just to top it all off, make it come full circle, we're going to do something that is very much uh, related to broadcast, uh, if you really think about it, if you think really hard about it. I try not to. (laughs) I guess. Uh, And that is, that's like a a noir audio drama is kind of what we're going for, Um, which is kind of related to the episode. Well, it's related enough, right? Just to kind of, you know, end off with a bang. That's what we're doing. You know, uh, detectives, they they needed audio to solve, to solve a... Uh, what do you call those things that detectives do? Mysteries? Uh, yes, but more like legal. Conundrums. Uh, Dilemmas. Crimes. Enigmas. Yes. Oh, crimes. Yeah, sure. I was like, what's the word that rhymes with grimes? It starts with a C. <laughs> we've, uh, we've already gone into the grimes R. conversation. That was last oh, week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we talked I forgot about too that. much about grimes. Mm. Where crime and crime doesn't pay. <laughs> oh yeah, that video. <laughs> so don't expect a paid internship. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, they do need they do need audio though. They need uh they need to hear uh during interrogations and things like that. They need two ears to be able to hear what the person uh they're interrogating is saying so that they can understand what they need to do in order to solve the mystery. Right? Uh, yeah, they got built-in audio software, and they're not <laughs> incredible. <laughs> think, th- but if you think about it, we actually all have built-in, created by God, in-ear monitors. Wow. Um, and technically speaking, uh, you could argue perhaps that we have uh, we have wireless mics within us. <laughs> yeah, I mean the frequency response on these on these in-ear monitors, like nutty. Yeah, and it, we also have a speaker built into us as well. We do. Like I'll it, believe it when I hear it. But think about it. All of our it would it would all stay inside our body if uh, we didn't have amplifiers to get it out of our body, right? Ooh, now this is a discussion for the ages. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to put my thoughts out into the world. How would how would anyone survive without <laughs> hearing me <laughs> say my beautiful my beautiful thoughts into the world? Yes, such as. Speaking for three minutes on Warhammer 40K <laughs> or Correct. Um, talking about various different cereals that I find at grocery stores and bring them into the show and say, ah, this looks interesting and obscure. Why don't we talk about this? Or philosophy fight. Or philosophy fight. Or maybe even audio production and Whoa, audio softwares. What a transition. You know, I'm no narcissist psychologist professional, but that <laughs> was sounding like a narcissist to me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm not a narcissist. I got tested. Oh, okay, never mind. You're good. 
I do not have narcissism. I do not fall asleep at random times. Exactly. Do I look like a freaking, a freaking, um, uh, uh, good uh, one, Garrett. Uh, Man, uh, you knocked it uh, out of the park with that uh, one. I had such a good setup, and I just I dropped it. I fumbled. <laughs> I fumbled. I was like standing right at the the um, the touchdown line, and I said, "Let me take a nap real quick." <laughs> it's just like Don't every just like every psytrance song. That so- that that joke had such a good build up, and then such a disappoint. It just dropped, and it was it was disappointing. Yeah, I really had to like do <laughs> and just went boom 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 boom. Uh, so yeah, speaking of that, uh, we were kind of getting into like music soft music software last time. We're talking like FL Studio, Ableton, you know, Logic Pro. I don't know if we ever got into like Cubase or like much of GarageBand, but um, uh, we're talking specifically about audio uh, production. So talking about audio software, audio hardware. What kinds of audio software? Uh, well, actually, here with us. Uh, we do have Will Diamant, who uh, is an audio engineer himself and probably has a good bit to say about uh, kind of what we use. So what are some good audio software for like uh, editing audio for video or um, doing podcasting, uh, other kinds of, you know, m- less live kind of audio work? Mm-mm. Yeah, my go to is always Pro Tools. I think that that's just kind of industry standard. You get basically whatever you need out of pro tools uh it's not the best when it comes to midi plugins i'll be i'll be honest at least from what i've seen and experienced um outside of pro tools i tend to look for maybe logic i use i'll I'll use logic when it comes to like creating songs and and putting in midi instruments that kind of stuff um logic is simple and easy to use i dig it so logic can be used for other things other than music then maybe not that i've experienced I, gee, I don't even know if you can import video files into Logic. Man, that'd be crazy. Um, blah, 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 blah. Logic's great for music. <laughs> can you import video yeah, files? Yeah, from my experience, Logic is very, very, very much geared towards music and like uh, direct from the instrument recording type music. However, like, I mean, all of these are just tools, right? And like, hypothetically, you could use a wrench to hammer in a nail. If you really wanted to, you could like, you could use a screwdriver to like OSHA open a can. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, you might get, you might get, uh, some fines or something for it, but like, sure, but- <laughs> like, you know, you can find a way to use different things. So while you probably couldn't do like video editing in logic, right. Just cause it's completely not built for that. I mean, you could probably like record a podcast and put it together in logic. Yeah. You just have to be creative and, you know, have a good can do attitude. Be an optimist, you know. Believe in yourself. Yeah, exactly. Follow your dreams. <laughs> yeah, follow your you heart. You could definitely use logic for a podcast. That's not that's not beyond the realm of reasonability, that's for sure. People people kind of crap on GarageBand a lot. And in some ways, completely justifiably <laughs> so. <laughs> sure. But, um, because it's definitely not a great audio editing software. Like, but it's it's kind of like what, um, uh, not Movie Maker, what's it called? The, the Apple iMovie? It's yeah. like what iMovie is to Final Cut. It's like the very stripped down, streamlined, easy version of the better product, right? Which would be Logic in this case. Right. Um, and like, I don't know the specifics of this, but from what I've heard, majority of Billie Eilish's early stuff was actually put together in GarageBand. And like, oh, I didn't know that. Completely made in GarageBand for the most part by her brother, whose name I can't remember. Ah, uh, Phineas. Yeah, Phineas. Um. He almost, I believe, completely used GarageBand at the beginning. And then they later, you know, of course, moved on to better stuff because yeah. she's now like uber famous. But um, yeah, no. Um, so you can do some pretty cool stuff in GarageBand. You just have to get creative with it. Yeah. That being said, I mean, you can you can be what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> just an echoing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, you can use all kinds of programs to your advantage. At a certain point, uh, some programs are just better for starting out than than others are. Like once you get into more professional, like like you really start getting more specified in your craft and you start getting more professional with it, uh, you shouldn't be using GarageBand at a certain point. It should probably move up to uh, to Pro Tools or um, 
one that is is uh, an, an, an Adobe program that is very uh, kind of pushed here at DBU in some classes. Like a lot of classes, especially music production classes here at DBU, use Pro Tools because that's the industry standard. But one that they often put us on is Audition. Um, ah, and old Audition. That that is the program that I use to rec- to edit this podcast as audition. well. Audition. I've got a bone to pick with audition. <laughs> yeah. What's your What's your horror story with audition? Uh, it's bad. Any questions? <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a question. Uh, why? Uh, you know, there's a number of reasons. The biggest reason it sucks. Uh, another reason is that it's just really not that great. <laughs> and uh, another reason is like, in terms of quality, it's not very high. And then there's also the problem that like anything it could do, another program could do better. And then there's also the problem of I dislike it immensely. <laughs> so you should know that if I dislike something immensely, there's probably, well, not a very good reason behind it. But auditions, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Basically disregard your opinion is what you just said. <laughs> you know what? You might have won this battle of wits, but I'll win the battle of audio. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. Yeah, I, I mean, okay, look, 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 look. At the very least... It's free if you have the Adobe subscription, right? It's like getting the toy. No, that's it's like getting the toy in like the Cracker Jack box. Like you're probably buying it for something good, like Premiere or like After Effects or something, right? Did you just say that audition was free if you paid the money for it? <laughs> okay, the way I look at it, because I didn't, I didn't get the <laughs> subscription for audition. It just kind of came with it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> No, I got the subscription for, like, Oh, Premiere. for Creative Cloud. Well, yeah, Creative Cloud is what I meant. Okay. I was, that was, I was very like, confusing. I did not, I was not specific in the slightest. So, yes, that was confusing. Okay. Yeah, you Creative know, you could, Cloud, uh, if you, get, you go to Walmart and you get, like, a rotisserie chicken, you can get it free as long as you pay $4.50 for it. Then it'll be free. Yeah, you just tip <laughs> the, uh, you just tip the cashier $4.50. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I feel like everything at Walmart is free if you're brave enough. <laughs> If you sneak in Walmart I mean. bags, <laughs> so hardware, right? Oh, uh, yeah, hardware. What kinds oh, of yeah. what <clears throat> kinds of uh, hardware do do we expect to use in audio production? Oh, I mean that depends on what you're going for. There's like a million different things. I know these Electro Voice RE20s are real crisp. I kind of like them. I mean, like talk to us I'm, like mics and uh, audio interfaces. Okay. What's good? Okay. What's bad? I'm partial to like. Sure, SM7Bs when it comes to a lot of things. Like maybe when you're recording like, you know, a piano or something like that, it's not that great. But if you want like a good kick mic, you got it. If you want a good like uh, broadcast mic, you got it. You know, streaming mic, you got it. It's it's Sure, SM7B is just one of my favorites straight up. <clears throat> uh, let's see. In terms of interfaces, a lot of, a lot of like Scarlet, like the uh, – uh, what is it called? I forget my own – the name of my own interface. This, the Johansson? Yeah, Scarlett yeah, Scarlet, Johansson. Scarlet, is that Johansson? Scarlet? Uh, there's the witch. Also, is another model the Scarlet Witch. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, dude, if you got a Scarlet, Scarlet witch, Letter, Scarlet Letter is the low budget one. I think I think it's the two i four is the one I got, a little baby one. But um, you can always get a bigger one with more inputs, and um, it it makes it sound nice. It makes it sound good and happy. I'm just imagining someone trying to like smash an XLR into a two by four, like a like a straight up <laughs> two by four plank of Yo, wood. Hang on, I got a I got a picture I got to show you of something I, I found on my mission trip to Cuba. I don't think I can show the podcast. Please tell actually, me it's uh, a two by four with an XLR sticking it, out of it. That works. It might just be, dude. Like it's it's pretty close. Not gonna lie, it's got like a bunch of dusty knobs and a bunch of like electrical hazards and maybe a couple of wires if you're lucky. Oh but goodness! See that two by four there on the left, and there's all the dials and the knobs coming out. That's that's what they're working with. I wouldn't consider this to be a very good audio interface. What in the world? But hey, in the land of only having this poor excuse for an audio interface, <laughs> you're the audio king. Let's be honest. <laughs> well, that's actually I think a, a kind of good um, segue into um, into the last point that I kind of want to hit on before we get to our break which is like budget options and uh, pipe dream professional options for audio hardware. Um, what kinds of, if, if someone's wanting to start their own podcast, for instance, um, what, what kinds of equipment do you think they should invest in? And um, 
what kinds of things if they're really like wanting to get big should they invest in not adobe audition <laughs> that that is a fair point um i think that hmm let's see like i mentioned the sure sm7b is super solid um um uh, i actually have a whole list of all these of all these microphones that i made notes on when i was recording with them um okay so this is not this is not going to answer your question at all but if you want a great drum like a bass kick mic like the sure beta 52A, that is a subby mic. Like you'll get a great. Wow. I don't know. I don't know okay. where I'm going with this one. Um, in terms of, <laughs> you're gonna have some stuff? really good kick okay. drums okay. if you listen closely. To I'm this gonna podcast. tell you, someone's popularity is not based on what audio equipment they have, and oftentimes it just ends up being that the ones who are at the top have been there long enough and are good enough to purchase the large equipment that makes them sound better, and it's not so much that. In order to be popular, you need this equipment. It's just that the people who are popular can afford that equipment, which ends right. up getting very expensive sometimes. Oh, yeah. No, totally. Um, recently, I've been listening to these like three podcasts that are all literally recorded on the person's iPhone in their car, like on their lunch break. And they sound absolutely horrendous. But like the content's good. And they actually got a pretty <laughs> big following from there. And then, you know, you can see over time how they've because I'm going through like the backlog right but um you can see over time how they've progressed and gotten better equipment and stuff like that but yeah so like you don't need fantastic stuff to start depending on what you're trying to do but it definitely helps and you don't want to stay in the iphone in your closet while your mom you know, <laughs> iPod is yelling on the phone in, in the next room sort of like vibes you know i mean there's a certain appeal to that right but not for very long i guess if you want to know more good mics that you would like I guess work towards, and especially if you're into music and not so much. Um, that's that's more of my area of expertise is music. Then call Will Diamant at five 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 nine four three six two nine three. The Norman eighty four is fantastic for like pianos and like high high end, not high end, like higher frequency response kind of stuff. It's got good good reproduction, I'd say. Oh, uh, the AKG C four one four. I guess four hundred and four four fourteen. What do they even call it? I haven't used one of those in so long. I don't know. You're the C414. one with the list. C414. That's what it is. That, oh, okay. That's what it is. I don't even have a list. This is all off my memory, of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> um, there's also, also um, outside of like Shore and AKG, Sennheiser is like another big boy mic company. If you got oh, some yeah. Sennheisers on you, like you're, you must be doing good if you got a couple of Sennheisers. But there's, they make some great like uh, Tom mics if you need them and just everything in between. But I miss my – oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you want something that's that's budget and you just want like a, a small mic for, for virtually anything, you could use it to record drums, you could use it to record vocals. It's the most common mic you'll find anywhere. It's the Shure SM57 or the Shure SM58. Like if you watch a movie and you see someone on stage singing into a microphone, chances are it's a, it's a Shure SM57, 58. And those are like, I don't know if we talked about that, but those are like Shure SM58s are indestructible almost. They are. It's my crazy. audio My audio teacher showed me a video of him with a gun shooting the microphone and then plugging oh it in goodness. and getting sound <laughs> like unreal unreal yeah i mean the the like i forget i forget what you call it it starts with a g i think but the like silver casing around the actual mic yeah um now that gets dented and like uh -huh. the, pretty easily if you do like crazy stuff to it but the but in terms of plugging it in and getting sound you can do so much terrible stuff to that and still end up getting like decent audio oh yeah oh yeah i think someone left it out for like like buried it in the ground for a year oh my and so gosh. it got rained on it was like you know soil got in photosynthesis and <laughs> all that crazy stuff like plants were growing on top of it and then they dug it out a year later and uh cleaned it off plugged it in and it still worked dude <laughs> yeah 57s and 58s are just unreal in terms of durability and they're pretty decent too and they're cheap they're very cheap for mics uh, yeah, so those last a pretty long time. You know what doesn't last a pretty long time? My hair, I mean... Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Life. Life Life is short. That's Live why you, you got need it. to purchase life insurance from my insurance firm. <laughs>
Five 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 nine four three six nine two four. I don't think that was Will the same Will Diamond's number. music production and life insurance. <laughs> 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 I do be out here insuring my music and my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's the slogan. That's on the billboard. <laughs> That's my slogan. I do be out oh. here insuring my music and my life. <laughs> of course, of course. If you want like a USB mic, like Blue makes a lot of great microphones. Like Blue Yeti, Blue Snowball. Those are all solid options too. If you don't want to invest in an interface and invest in a in a fancy schmancy microphone yeah sure sm7b cool um speaking of life insurance and by extension dying um no. the other day <laughs> oh wait this is not an announcement seth <laughs> oh, i thought i thought you were gonna like steal my segue into a break oh no 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 okay i was just gonna story. say that uh the other day i don't remember which day but the other day um <laughs> the other one not this one i decided that when i inevitably meet my demise if I get a tombstone, I want it to this? just be basically just a piece of cement that says Garrett, and then underneath that, he dipped. <laughs> and then that's all. <laughs> he dipped. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of the time I went to Six Flags, and I saw someone eating dipping Dots. And then maybe his name was Garrett. Mm-hmm. And then uh, mm-hmm. that Thanks, that bro. reminds me of that great time I stole the segue from Seth for the next section. I'll see uh, you in yeah. five whole minutes. Wait a minute, how long are the breaks? <laughs> uh, they're like eight seconds. Eight seconds? Yeah. In real life? Wait, in- no, no, no. In real life, it's four seconds, and in uh, the like actual product, is about eight. Wow, wow, that's like the opposite. Oh, but we got to switch I mean, in. Will actually? Oh, I, will I mean, in fact, in the so, time that we were talking here, we've already come back from break. And we're starting the next segment. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to Auto In. <laughs> Indeed, uh, we're actually <laughs> we're here. We're segment two. We didn't actually have a break. It's like it's like when you go, you take one final, but you, you go like right into the next final because you took too long in the first one, right? Uh, so that being said, we're gonna bring Will Moulton in and take uh, Garrett Walder out. Yeah, yeah. This is the section with the wild animals. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Wait, wrong podcast. <laughs> wrong podcast. That's the one we're starting after auto win. Oh, oh my, called, mistake, my uh, mistake. Wild animal uh, In extravag- the menagerie <laughs> extravaganza uh, extraordinaire. Uh, extraordinary, extraordinaire. Boy, I sure hope we're editing some of this out at least. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're editing a lot of this out for sure. We have here in the studio uh, both Wills at the oh same gosh. time. The you never could have imagined it. For the first time in in history, I don't in know history. if Will, I don't know if you guys have both been on the podcast together before. This is um, a very low chair. <laughs> you probably crank it up. Nah, I think I'll just uh, sit here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Uh, so we're we're gonna get into just a couple of uh, a couple more audio things to like uh, prepare any aspiring audio production uh, w- wizards. And uh, and witches. We're not going to leave out the witches. Uh, no, you can't forget that. You cannot. Um, I feel like witches get a bad rap compared to wizards. Not going to lie. I know. Yeah. Like, witch is an insult, but wizard is a compliment. You yeah, want- exactly. Yeah, you know, like Anakin Skywalker? That's wizard. I, Am I missing something? <laughs> uh, I guess kind of. He uses the force, which could kind of be seen as magic. No, 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 no. He, in episode one, as a kid, he uses the word wizard. As, Wait, does he? As a like, that's so wizard. Does he? Yeah. What? That? That's that's so wizard, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, that's pretty wizard of him. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It's just a was it's cool, baby. You know, it's a, he doesn't it's actually a, say that, does he? He does in yeah. episode no one. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Me and Will Diamant are going to go watch uh, episode yeah. one tonight just exactly to see. And happen. we're actually going to watch from the beginning up to the point where he says wizard. As soon as Anakin says wizard, we're turning it off. <laughs> exactly. We can only handle so much Jar Jar Binks here. <laughs> <laughs> and pod racing. Yeah, come on. Pod racing's cool. Pod racing's way yeah, but like than most 40 of the minutes of movie. pod racing. You know what I'm saying? Dude, are you serious? 40 minutes of pod racing would be the best. I want a... That's my ask of Kathleen Kennedy these days is to... Uh, a full uh, a full movie just about the pod racing scene on Tatooine. <laughs> yeah, you know it'd be. I think it'd be pretty kind of cool. You know, I think that whole section of Star Wars has been very not explored. 
You know, it's like a yeah, that's true. It's like a maybe a Ford versus Ferrari because all never mind. Oh my goodness, yeah, Ford versus Ferrari, but like Star Wars style with pod racing. Yes, imagine that. Crazy. Okay, you know, you know uh, what? What's also pretty crazy? Uh, sometimes when you record audio, uh, you into mics. Sometimes you wear like headphones so that you can hear yourself, and we're all doing that here in the studio today, and Where, we can. Where's hear, the crazy part of this? Uh, the crazy part is uh, that's it. That's that's all I got. That's about as crazy that as was I a get. crazy uh, segue into uh, what you know. What kind of monitor headphones or even like editing later? Uh, it doesn't have to be like while you are recording, uh, monitoring yourself, but also editing later. What kind of headphones are good? You mentioned Sennheiser earlier as a really good mic uh, company, which reminded me that you were telling me once that Sennheiser makes really good headphones too. So kind of take yep. us through that. Um, yeah, I think the go-to for just about everyone I've met has been Audio-Technica. I mean, I can't think of a really... Well, of course, there's Sony. Don't get me wrong. Sony probably has better quality overall. But Audio-Technica is great for like a low price. And they also scale up really well into, into higher prices too. So you really can't go wrong with that brand. Um, I know my brother is all about like these wireless headphones that he's been looking into and like Bluetooth ones, not necessarily for studio production, but he will research for hours on these things. Actually, now that I think about it, I think you were telling me about Audio Technica and not Sennheiser. Uh, well, I did, I did say Sennheiser before with the mics. So that's oh, I yeah. Okay. Yeah. Heard very good things about Audio Technica. I use, I, I use, so you kind of dogged on me about this when you figured out, I, but I use like Bluetooth JBL headphones because that's what I had, um, which, you know, once I took off the built in six decibel bass boost, uh, <laughs> th- they were actually pretty solid. Like it was, there was a little bit, there was just a, the tiniest difference between the audio quality in those headphones and, uh, the audio quality in the audio technicas that you use. Um, but but I will say that I definitely produced a lot of music and uh, re- did an entire season reviewing music with a six decibel bass boost before I realized that there was a way to turn that off. And so, uh, and actually, I I bought it with a bad aux cord too. They they gave me in the packaging a bad aux cord. I mean, so. yeah, that that'll do it, man. That'll uh, that'll heck up your your audio right good. Yes, <laughs> six whole decibels. You know what I use. What? This what? is going to be big. What do Here you use? Go. Beats by Dre, baby! Oh my it's gosh, no. The Apple, Please, pod, no. Apple stuff, you know. Beats, DJ Khaled. <laughs> uh, a little uh, inside look on a studio, I guess, judgment of Beats by Dre. Uh, they're horrible. <laughs> they're absolute trash. <laughs> I don't know please, that I've heard a single good ever, thing. Please don't ever use Beats by Dre for your audio podcast. I use Beats by Dre oh every single gosh. day. <laughs> I am a Beats by Dre shill. <laughs> so how, how much are they paying you? Are they paying you like per time you say Beats by Dre or is it like? No, nah, I am. A, <laughs> we are. Uh, we talk about Beats by Dre every day. It's, I'm not getting paid at all. Oh. I just love it so much. You Sponsored know. Sponsored message about Apple. Beats by Dre. Side effects may include uh, dizziness, <laughs> nausea, Beats by Dre, even death. Low audio quality. <laughs> yeah, low audio quality. <laughs> um, awful listening experience and depression. Depression. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Beats by Dre. Beats by Dre, baby. We are. We mentioned so earlier we are we are all wearing sony uh, headphones for monitoring i uh this is what we have i am saving for some really good editing headphones i was gonna get um some sony's or some bose headphones oh bose i've heard good things about uh because those are around the same price point i want to i want to hit uh but noise canceling and such um but yeah nobody else in my we all use airpods in our family and it's not cool. I uh, I know they're I mean, for editing they're not good, but for um just walking around, have them in your earbuds, regular earbuds, they're great. But you don't want to use them for editing because, you know, it'll uh Apple, you know, all proprietary stuff about Apple. Uh it applies, it'll really mess up your audio center and your computer. Um, especially, I mean, I've connected my AirPods. I have, I have an Alienware computer 
and it really messes you, messes up your audio interface with uh with AirPods, Beats by Dre, Beats by Dre, baby. Uh, <laughs> help, <laughs> please help. <laughs> yeah, no, but you really don't want to use app. Sorry, Apple. I uh, sort of like your editing software, uh, and that's about it. Final uh, Cut or iMovie? Final Cut. Yeah. They okay, I guess. <laughs> it's okay, but I mean, Premiere all the way. Premiere is good. Also, Ethernet port on your computer. Anybody who doesn't have one, get one. Uh, Toy Story, Woody. There you go. I just, uh, I just made a quote there. Oh, did he say something like that? Yeah, in, in the uh, in the staff meeting in the original Toy Story, it's like if you don't have a moving buddy, uh, uh, get one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in a hot minute. That's the right. first Toy Story. Hey, uh, just for my last, uh, since we will be gone for a little bit, I would like you guys to, uh, I'm going to plug myself real quick here. And here's my letterbox. It's a uh, duh underscore three times lava. And you can follow me for all your movie review needs. Uh, the most, I think, current review on there is Mulan 1998. And uh, boys... It was a spicy time. I was in it until Eddie Murphy walked onto the scene, and then I was just out. I was like, "I like Eddie Murphy, but you're ruining the tone of the movie, buddy. I can't handle the. I can't oh, handle no. Eddie Murphy, bruh. He's just like, he's going a hundred percent. He's like pedal to the metal on the comedy, and he just won't let up. He's just, he's just talking a mile a minute, and I don't. I'm not a good impressionist, but like straight up, he's just. And the whole film just screeches to a halt because it has to make room for Eddie Murphy <laughs> and his little dragon thing. It's so annoying. Oh, That's no. my uh, three stars. <laughs> it was the absence of Mushu that made people mad at live action Mulan. Mushu is the greatest. Well, he's, Don't he, at me. <laughs> he's funny in the movie, but it's just like uh, he ruins the pacing of it is what I'm saying. He just like every scene you want to take, like up until the point where Mushu was there uh, the scene the, I could take the movie very seriously and the movie was very even with the songs it was very serious movie uh, the period piece nobody was speaking out of like uh, what is it you know, you know an Emperor's New Groove where they just bring up random stuff that hasn't been uh, invented for another 50 five, uh, like 500 years I haven't seen that movie in a hot minute either <sighs> so, so you're you're telling me it wasn't serious when they go over the hill and they see the destruction that the Huns have. That wrought. was like my favorite point in the movie because they, everybody <laughs> had like tonal whiplash, and I was like, <laughs> "Well, it's a nice number." It's like, and then it's like, "Oh man, everybody's dead." <laughs> so uh, you know, like I was saying about headphones. <laughs> oh, I was um, totally gonna ask him what he thought about the genie in Aladdin. Oh my goodness! Go ahead. Yeah, but. I mean, they built that guy into the script. I mean, they built in, like, literally built in, like, wrote in, this is where Adam, uh, sorry, his name isn't Adam, Robin <laughs> Williams. Uh, <laughs> Who's Adam Williams? I'm going to, every time we, Robin Williams comes up, he's just going to be known as Adam for the Adam rest Williams. of the podcast. <laughs> so Adam, every, they wrote in, you know, every time, uh, they had like a little lull in the script. That's this is my theory. They just said, "Oh, let's just insert Robin Williams." Sorry, Adam, uh, <laughs> going in for a little bit and being like, "Oh," and then that's what happens. You know, please do your Robin Williams impression again. Oh, he does this. Oh, delightful. <laughs> time. Uh, uh, love that man. Rest in peace. So about monitor headphones. Hey, yeah, you know about those monitor headphones? Yeah, me too. Uh, dream big beats by Dre, baby. Uh, beats by Dre. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put one in there. Um, uh, we the best music. <laughs> hey, uh, on the real though, if you want like a pair of good headphones so you don't have to use Beats by Dre, then you could just get like some Audio Technica like MX twenties. They're like a little older, but they're like fifty bucks and they're actually that quality. So, you know, there's, there, you know, you got some, some wiggle room, you know, something to play with. Yes. You're really tempting me every time you say the words Beats by Dre. <laughs> <laughs> to scream it. Just no. to like top off. You're going to, we're going to, we're going to clip the audio so bad in the, in the editing <laughs> scene. It's going to be a bad time for Seth. So oh, here yeah. we have a wild specimen of, uh, how do you pronounce this? Beats by 
Dre? It's my Dre! <laughs> <laughs> I had my I had my my hand on your slider just ready yeah, to turn it down okay. immediately. <laughs> All right, boys. We're having a good time. <laughs> okay, let's turn it back. We are now. having good time. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's not let's not screech for uh for Eddie Murphy slash w- <laughs> uh, Will Moulton, I guess would be the Eddie Murphy of this podcast. <laughs> you actually are. Because sometimes our our topic would like screech to a halt because you're like you know, uh, I have a rant about like, uh, you know, when hot pockets are too cold or something like random like that. I love hot that. pockets. That's my most famous one we had on the podcast. I am, I'm severely disappointed in you that you brought that up. I have gone on so many rants in the past two seasons about stuff that really doesn't matter, and the first thing you bring up is the hot pockets. Oh no. Oh my think, god! I don't think you, you even... insult me, Seth. You insult me so much. I just don't even know how this podcast can go on. This, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this oh, is uh, this is how it. This was the end of Auto In. This is know, how it happened. I remember the time I was watching Mulan. This is the story of how I died. I was this watching is the Mulan story. in 1998, and suddenly Eddie Murphy comes on. He goes, "Beats by Dre, baby!" And then it turns out it was actually Will Moulton outside my window <laughs> every night. Past 11 p.m. <laughs> talking about Beats by Dre. You're really, you're really giving me a little bit of a hard time. Uh, uh, I'm sweating. <laughs> it's kind of a compulsion, you know. It's <laughs> <laughs> My hand was like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, with that being said, let's uh, talk ourselves a little bit about, uh, about audio hardware for broadcast. Um, we use Shure SM58s as crowd mics for our broadcasts. Yep, yep. Uh, we set them up uh, for baseball. We've been setting them up outside um, near the cameras, and recently we've been bringing them in because rain is crazy. Or what rain are you was. talking about? We hang those boys out the window, man. We just like droop them out, and you know they. Sometimes hang we do put them on stands and point them outside of the windows uh, in the like camera booth. Um, sometimes we just like, we just go up to random people with SM 58s and in the crowd and we just go, Hey, uh, just hold this up to your mouth and, uh, let us know all the conversations that you're having. Like just, just record them right into the mic and, uh, we'll turn you up whenever we feel like, you know, yeah, talking about like when you want to get a hot dog or uh, something like that. You know what? I I have a, uh, confession to make. So my my wife has been murdered. <laughs> and you know what? Next and? on the podcast, we're going to I'm going to come to Garrett uh, or the detective and we're going to we're going to try and solve this right after this break. We're going to solve the murder of Will Moulton's wife. Yes. Oh jeez, I really just hope that there aren't any people who die. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there will be. Coming up next, we have ourselves a special noir audio drama to bring us out of season two of Auto In. So stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts and get your popcorn and go crunch crunch on that popcorn for... The noir event of the century. Auto in uh, who <laughs> who uh, presents who killed <laughs> Will Moulton's <laughs> wife. I will. This will be a fifteen minute program that will include a ten minute warning, a five minute warning, and a two minute warning. And within that time, we are going to solve the murder of Will Moulton's wife. And it begins now. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna be honest with you, kids. It was me. I did it. Wait, uh, hey, me, uh, uh, oh, wait, we haven't gotten wait, to that wait, part. Wait, yet. I, 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 I come. <laughs> wait, am I, uh, yeah. Uh, hold back, up, hold back up. to you, detective. It was a rainy night in uh, Flugeltown, and Flugeltown was often known for its rain. Gosh, I don't know why I even live here. This rain, it's just, it always brings me down. But you know what else brings me down? Listening to murder cases, cause uh. You know, people getting murdered, it's kind of kind of sad. Makes you think about your own mortality sometimes. But then again, that's just the job when you work as a detective on murder cases. Detective Walder had a job working on murder cases as a detective. 
and he often did it on rainy days because he could focus less on that and then gave himself a uh, an excuse to procrastinate. Oh, man, I'm so glad I'm not actually sort of, you know, solving any of these murder cases right here that are very, very desperate, about to become cold, you know. Um, you know, the, the, we'll just find somebody, just point at somebody on the street, be like, hey, yo, uh, Bobby, where, where, speaking of Bobby, where's my assistant? Oh, yeah, yeah. I caught a criminal last week doing that. I went to jail for a while, though, because it was not true. But here we are in this nice, lovely, rainy day that I really wish would stop raining on. Yeah, I'm not paying you for a few weeks, Bobby. Your bail was kind of expensive. Um, yeah, my bad, boss. So, uh, any new clients come in? Any new uh, murders that we got to deal with? That's when. Do, 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 do. Hey, Bobby, go get that. I don't want to get up. Uh, yeah, boss. Uh, sure, one second. Let me put on my clown shoes. Those were his clown shoes. Oh, hey, boss. Yeah, there's like a, a guy at the door. I don't know what he wants. Hello, it's a pizza panamanio. Hey, I get out of here. We don't want any pizza. Last time. No, so loud, no last time you showed up, there was a Gatling gun in the box because you were actually the mafia. Yeah, yeah, I'm not the on. mafia. I've been a. Uh... Sorry, that was all a right, uh, right, short you know, term hey, stint at the local pizzeria. Hey, if you if you if you if you're not the mafia, tell me something only a not mafioso would know. Well, Paisano. Ah, uh, yeah, he's the pizza guy. <laughs> he's the pizza guy. Oh, yeah, I do love me some pizza. You got me that. Up. I'm not here for the pizza. I gotta talk to you about my murder. Ah, uh, it's a I was intentionally time. trying not to think about murders. I got excited. I thought I was gonna be able to think about pizza, but all right, come on in. What do you want? Somebody filled killed my wife. It, the wep- murder weapon was a beach ball filled with lead. It nearly <laughs> killed her just by bouncing off of her shoulder. Oh, that's awful. Did put she, her uh, hand and put her shoulder in the sand almost immediately? Oh, that's awful. Did she at least? Did she at least save the surf? Like, did she at least win the point from the the volleyball game? That was the game winning serve. Oh well, at least it was she a had sacrifice, that. but she uh, it was sounds really... like a worthy sacrifice. Your your wife sounds like an honorable lady, sir. She, uh, but who, who ex- served your, the ball? Your uh, the... your your deceased wife, I should say. That's your, the uh, question. The, the wife that's now deep in the dirt. That's the, what I'm deep in the sand. You. I should say if she actually died, because I don't know if y'all were able to recover the body or if it just kind of kept going down. No, nah, this sand. is a minimal case for uh, two hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, I need a I need a private eye to go find me a. Uh, uh, this is a two hundred dollar case. I need you to find who served the ball because this was a you know a, a play as you go type scenario. You know it's like Patreon. You know she was she, she was really deep into that stuff. It was not a good habit. I am sorry, guy. Yeah, I am sorry, my guys. That's a little suspicious, man. Hey, boss, you want me to just look up the uh, records of the volleyball games that were being played that day, and we can call this one closed? Look, 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 look. We got all these other important cases here. I don't really want to deal with them right now. So let's just make this take a little bit longer than sir, we need to. Maybe sir. like maybe like ten more minutes. Yeah, about maybe like ten more minutes left on this case. You know, I will okay, give you. Yeah. yeah, I'll just go look up the, uh, the 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 beach volleyball in Connecticut and find someone from there, and then we can waste some more time. Yeah, let's interrogate a few of the players. You know, maybe even interrogate the corpse too if we need to. Mm. Yeah, sounds good. I will. And not you... corpse, not corpse. The Twitch streamer, corpse like the his dead wife. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, geez, that's there was only advice. one place that I knew to go to start, and that was. Oh uh, yeah, I only uh, there's only one place I know of to go for this, and it's uh, it's the court where she died. But then I was wrong. Turns out it was the sandwich place across the street because I was hungry for a sandwich. Dang. It's really crazy that s- series of events that took us from the the court where she died to the sandwich shop because I got hungry. That actually really wasn't that crazy string of events. I just got hungry. What kind of sandwich would you like? Uh, geez, I'd like a, a one a uh, uh, pastrami and the Swiss cheese with the uh, jalapenos, and I'd like a little bit of lettuce, and maybe if you got some tomatoes, you could put that on there. And I do like me some mayonnaise and and some mustard, and if you have any French fries, you could put those on the side. And and I only like rye bread because I I'd be I'm, I'm trying to lose some weight out here. Cause, Bobby, ah! I already forgot your order. Um. I'm yeah. going to stop you right there. We're out of everything that you just said. Uh, he'll just take the fries. Okay. Yeah, he, fries. He was out of that. 
Could I just have a glass of warm milk, please? No, nope, nope. Oh. You're getting fries. You said you were getting fries, my, my, and yeah. Um, oh. Also, we're serving. We're, we're solving the case of a murder, a uh, volleyball-related incident. You got any discount for volleyball-related murder investigators? We don't accept people who solve murders in this sandwich shop. Oh. I would like you to leave immediately and never come back. Oh, well, that's kind of rude. Do I still get my fries, though? Do I still get my fries? Yeah, he has call the he's... cops if you say the word hey. fries in my presence hey, one more time. he's never solved a murder before. He's only been yeah. involved in them, so... Uh... Oh, you can have your fries. That's okay. Oh, okay, good. Uh, I'm also going to call 911 on uh, on uh, whoever the dude in the in the uh, curly hair is. Oh no, we got we got to book it, Bobby. We got to book it, Bobby. 911. What is your emergency? Ah, oh. oh, you work for 911 too. Oh, my my emergency is someone uh, is solving a murder and entered my sandwich uh, yeah. shop. Hey, boss, you see that across the street sticking out from the sand? It looks like a leg. You think that's you think that's the murder victim? You know what? I think it might be worse than investigating, boss. All right, let's go look for it. Uh, all right, well, thank you for the sandwiches that you didn't give us. Uh, we'll, we'll be on our way. Oh, late 10-minute morning. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> like an eight and a half at this point. Oh, okay, thank you. But he only says that because it's his, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> thank you, 911 operator. We're going to go cop, investigate yeah. this dead body. Hey, yeah, yeah, if you want to step on this beach, you got to get through me first. I'm the janitor of this here beach. What business you got here, eh? Hey, why don't you go mop the sand somewhere else, buddy? Hey, this sand ain't gonna clean itself, all right? Why don't you pick up a broom and then we can talk, eh? All right, if I do that, would you uh, mind answering some questions about the murder that happened at the volleyball court here the other day? Yeah, I seen a moido around here. What's in it for me, though? All right, hey, just just hand me that broom. I'll help you out a little bit. All right, all right, let's get to it. Hey, uh, do I gotta work too? I'm kind of allergic to working hard. Yeah, start, start, uh, get, get, get some, get some squeegees and start cleaning up the water over there. The, the big, the big puddle of water over there. Oh yeah, geez, boss, sure thing. I got myself my backpack and my squeegee and my mop and my broom, and I also brought a bucket just in case. And I was yeah, yeah, just use all that to clean up, just clean up the big water spill over there by the beach. Okay, so um, yeah, uh. Yeah, and so that's a- when a guy walked up. What's up, bro? <laughs> this is my beach. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> oh, Bobby, he's an imbecile. You talk to him. Oh, gosh. It's you again, eh? Thought- oh, I- what are you doing I- on my... Oh, what are you I- doing on my beach, bro? <laughs> I already told you. This is my beach. Uh, cleaners. Keepers. I'm gonna throw some bricks. I'm gonna throw some bricks at you if you don't just step off. Uh, what, what are you gonna I do? I own this what, physical I'm, what land. What am I gonna do? Clean it up. I manage you. You my wait manager. Minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, surfer bro. You said uh, you said you're throwing bricks. Are those bricks made out of uh lead by any chance? Are they filled with lead? Oh, you're not a cop or nothing. Right? Oh, sorry, you're not a cop or nothing, right? No, I'm not. I'm not a coffin. I'm not. I'm not a cop either. <laughs> Sounds good. Look, dude, <laughs> we get the imports off of this truck that comes around every uh, every five uh, five hours. Uh, you so know, you, you import you import your lead. You know what's in the we we use uh, Beats by Dre to <gasps> no. import uh, to import lead. I should have known. You know, in the soles of the eardrums. Yeah, that's I should have known. Beats, Beats by, by Dre, Dre was behind this. I should have known. <laughs> Yeah, right. they're a real evil, you know, oligarchy. Yeah, you know, boss, uh, boy, you were talking with our surfer friend here. I went and inspected the body. It turns out she died of lead poisoning, boss. No, she wouldn't have. Was it Was it localized in the ears? It was localized on the foot. She had gout. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, she might have actually uh, murdered herself in a certain sense, I guess. Um... No, nah, bro, out. I was there that day. I oh. saw everything. <laughs> oh, you saw everything then. Well, I guess we, yeah. don't, need to, we don't need to question you about it then because you might Sounds have Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, it can't be suicide if you choose your time of death, of course. Everybody knows that. <laughs> well, I didn't I didn't even mean suicide there, Bobby. I just meant, uh, you know, her body could have just gave out on her because her foot was uh, so decrepit Wait, and awful. Wait, are you detectives? <laughs> yeah, that's why it's still a murder case. I gotta go. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, wait. to us. A five-minute warning. Oh man, we only got five minutes left before I gotta I gotta take my my scheduled nap. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, hey, surfer bro, surfer bro, wait, come back here. Oh no, he's already gone. Hey, hey, yeah, what I'm you gone. Think you're running <laughs> off to, eh? Get your back here. Get your a broom and get you a mop 
Deal with you, them, boy. Deal what? with them. Deal, uh, you better run. Them. Yeah, get them out of here. Beat by Dre looking on. Oh, God. Hey, 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 uh, hey, uh, beach cleaner. Beach cleaner. You, you ever seen? You ever seen the Dre? You, you ever seen Beats by Dre around here? Yeah, I seen him. Oh uh, yeah, where, where 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 could we find him? Yeah, he was walking over by the pier. He had a real cold look in his eyes. Ah, uh, hey, Bobby, I think we need to head over to the pier and uh, beat some Dre. All right, yeah, sounds good to me, boss. I got brought my crowbar, brought my baseball bat, and I also brought a tire iron, and I got a big old mischievous looking broom. Bobby, did you bring uh, did you bring the Nerf Super Soaker? Oh yeah, I brought it. I I think I know what we gonna do. Did you fill it up with lead? No, I did I'm not sorry. fill it up with lead, <laughs> and that is why I said no to him because I did not fill it up with lead. You see, Bobby, I'm so glad we decided to fill these uh, water guns up with uh, molten lava. You know? <laughs> yeah, I uh, I don't know if this is such a good idea, boss. It's kind of getting a little drippy on my arm, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Bobby. The fact you hadn't lost a limb by this point is kind of surprising, anyway. But um, you see, uh, you see. All right, here's a plan. We're gonna. I'm gonna go walk out. I'm gonna walk out to the pier. Right. We're gonna go find Beats for Dre, and you're gonna jump out after I start talking to him and yell, "Die, criminal scum!" and then shoot him with the lava. Okay. Hey, this is my apartment. My amusement park. What are you guys doing here? Uh, wait, wait, what do you mean, guys? There's only one of us, right? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Bobby, get, yeah, get behind here. the bucket. I'm you get, yeah, I'm in the bucket. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, man, you guys are, have lava in your super soaker? Stop saying guys, there's only one of me, you know? Okay. I'm seeing definitely two of you. Just... No, there's nobody in that bucket over there. You're just crazy, man. You guys murdered a person? Yeah, it's a dead body. Now ignore it, okay? You Look. put it in a bucket. Yeah. Well, you guys are in some Hannibal Lecter stuff. I gotta go. <laughs> no, uh, wait, 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 wait. Stay here, stay here, stay here. You're, you're Beats by Dre, right? No. You're not Beats by... Oh, wait, no. What's that you're wearing on your head? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, he's got the Beats by Dre on his head. Bobby, that... That's your cue. That's your cue. Oh, oh yeah, I, I mean, you see, I, the gun, it, it melted, boss. I, 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 uh, Bobby, no, what happened to your hands? Where'd you put your hands? I, 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 but I, he I, ran away, I, and before I, 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 we could discuss this, there was a two-minute warning, but also we had to run after the man wearing the Beats by Dre headphones. All right, Bobby, we don't, we don't even have time to load the guns anymore. Just start throwing the lava at him. Oh, jeez, I would, but I just ain't got as much arm as I used to. You know? I hand it to me. And as we ran, we came up across a uh, figure that was had a paper bag over his or her head. We could not tell the gender because it was I, behind uh, us. Uh, uh, no, look look they, at that! Yes. Look at that non-gender specific person with their uh, with the bag on their head. Let's let's go. Let's go talk to him. Why do you have a bag on your head? Uh, and then we removed the bag. Yeah. And suddenly we realized it was. It's uh, it's not me, Beats by Dre. <laughs> ah, well, do you know where we can find Beats by Dre? Do you know where we can find? Wait a minute, no, he is Beats by Dre, isn't he? Oh yeah, look at him. He's got the Beats by Dre right on his head. Ah, wait, you, know you were they... arresting you for uh, the murder of that guy's wife that walked in my office. I can't believe you're arresting me for wearing Beats by Dre. I mean, they're so comfortable and they got noise canceling, but they're horrible in every other. <laughs> yeah, it's contest. almost it's almost like if you go to Beats dot com slash auto in, you could get twenty percent <laughs> off uh, your next purchase of Beats by Dre. Uh, the the deluxe comfortable um, bass boosted. Delectable sound quality headphones. Yeah, boss, but I was just told by an audio engineer that you never want to get a bass boosted headphones for your audio engineering needs. Yeah, but that's not the moral of the story, Bobby, and that's why you're just the assistant and I'm the detective. Okay, thanks for the those were the handcuffs. We put handcuffs on him, and they went uh, because those were the sounds that the handcuffs made. That was a real crisp, crisp uh, handcuff sound, if I do say so myself. And then we took him in. And I and that was the end of the mystery, except for this final line. Well, another another murder solved. Um, and by another, I mean the first one in a long time, because I haven't actually done any of these cases that are on my desk right now. But uh, <laughs> you know what? Let me review the file. Make sure I know know exactly who we arrested. I looked at it thoroughly, every nook and cranny, every corner. I even checked the bleeds and the slugs, even. 
crack the binding to get the the entire gutter in my vision. Dang, they really bound that awfully. Also and, weird that they would bind a criminal record. You'd think they would just staple it or something. And that's when I realized I was the murderer all along. Hey, boss, uh, why are you wearing a Beats by Dre headphones on your head? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to do like Doctor Who ending to that, but <laughs> all right, that was our that that was the end of Auto In, ladies and gentlemen, season two. That's um, it. Uh, well, thank you guys for joining us. Does anybody have any uh, final thought? Do you have a letterbox review of that uh, of that of that uh, whole deal that we got going on, Will? Yeah, I would say this is a cinematic masterpiece. I mean, cinematic. you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can really feel the the tension in every uh, every little th- fiber of, uh, you know, uh, Seth Kelly's portrayal of the inner monologue of this cop that turns out to be Beats by Dre. The subversion of such a uh, of such a complicated character. It's almost akin to Martin Scorsese's Shutter Island, where we, uh, oh. where the cop turns out to be the guy oh, who man, did kill somebody. Yet. Oof! Dang. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, since Will hasn't seen that yet, <laughs> I, th- I think that's where we're hey, gonna. Can you just end edit it. that out so I forget it, please? <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna. Forget Wait, what do you that. mean? Will hasn't seen it. He was just talking about no, it. No, Will. De- <laughs> oh, oh, oh! That's confusing. We have two Wills in the house now. All right. Well, and then there was a knock at the door. Hey, it's me, the janitor. I need you guys out of the studio ASAP. Come on, I ain't got all day. Okay, eh? okay. We'll 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 Ah, be out quick. ah. Uh, uh, Before we do, though, uh, uh, this has been Auto In, hosted by Seth Kelly, Will Moulton, and Garrett Walder, with special guest William Diamond, with music produced and performed by Jesse Liked and logo designed by John Brezenio. Thank you for listening, and we'll get out of your hair, janitor. Auto out. Thanks, boss. See you all around. Hey, a man has fallen into the river in Lego City. <laughs> Mobilize the attack helicopter. Hey, 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 it's Auto In <laughs> with your host, Attack Helicopter, the river, and the drowning man. <laughs>